Uh, hey guys, um... Mother's not lying this time, Father. He really did it. To both of us. Uh, yeah, so... I ran out of hard drive space again at the end of the last video. I hope... Well, actually, I've checked it. It didn't cut out too much. Basically, Stanley Poole was panicking and, and begging us not to kill him. Um, what should I do now? We're going to either spare or kill Stanley Poole, and then we are going to board the train. But before we do that, I think there's more Houdini splices running around. And so uh, I'm going to go research some Houdini splices and check the the Gatherer's Garden to see if there's any new presents that uh, Eleanor left us. Um, yeah, so the first time I played the game I killed Stanley Poole. Just because I don't think what he did was right. Like he... He, he uh, put Eleanor into one of the little sisters Fontaine's little sister program thing. What do you call it? The orphanage, that's right. And he also betrayed us to Fontaine, which is why we became subject Delta. Oh wait, no, to Ryan. Ryan, sorry. I think it was Andrew Ryan who made us subject Delta. Anyway, well, I think we'll find out in the next level. And also, like, he killed a lot of people just to save his own skin. Like, he's a... He's the worst kind of coward. So, uh, the last time... I played, I killed him. But it doesn't... Like, it doesn't make any difference whether you kill him or not. Except for a few, you know, cutscenes at the end of the game. Uh, I hope I'm not giving too much away, but basically... Like, you get different endings depending on what you do along the way in the game. Uh, let me just grab a, a robot, because that's useful. I think I'll spare him this time, just because, you know, I don't really care about him anymore. I mean, supposedly he was manipulated by Lam into doing those things, like, Lam knew that he would betray her and she let him do it anyway, so that she can become a martyr and turn public opinion against Andrew Ryan and all that, so... I don't know, but at the same time, like, if Stanley wasn't the coward that he is, he wouldn't have been manipulated like that, so... I guess they're both to blame, but, um... Anyway. We're talking about... <laughs> we're philosophizing about the ethics of fictional people. I mean, if they were real people, would I kill him? Probably... Probably not. I mean, he's harmless by... Th I don't know, actually. Is he harmless by this point? Can he still do more damage? I honestly don't know. What you want? I don't have those accidents no more! And the robot should kill him. Get out of the way, robot. Robot. Okay, so, uh... The telekinesis didn't really kill him... ...as quickly as I was hoped. There's one more splicer over there. One more splicer... Over there. There she is. Where's the robot? Oh, there, there he is. Wait a minute. Dionysus Park Go Wild. Touch me? Uh, illegal! This is illegal! Dionysus, I think, uh, if I remember right, was the. You get. Greek. Uh, Greek god uh, of. Of like, I don't. I actually know. I shouldn't talk about things that I'm not sure about. No, no, no. Actually, no. I, I did look it up at one point. Dionysus was the god of alcohol and getting drunk. I believe, if I was right, like 
I think the Roman equivalent was Bacchus. So uh, yeah, it's all about. And Andrew Ryan did say earlier uh, that the, the the name of the park was to give in to your like, like to to reference you know, your instincts and or uh, giving in to your instincts and instead of following your logic and reason, demanding father. If your little helpers keep getting interrupted while gathering, tell them to get a move on with our demanding father tonic. Little sisters gather at them more quickly. I don't really need that. Uh, I've been doing just fine without it. So let's store that. And more Adam. Ah, look at that. So let's get a gin tonic slot because I want... Um... No arms race, that's right. I still got 665 Adam. They give you a lot of Adam in this game. Now, what else do I want? Headhunter. None of these have been particularly useful. I guess if I'm gonna use the robot more, maybe I should get the plasmids where the robots are stronger. Not security evade. I think I've got them already. I just need to buy the the slot to put them in. Machine Buster, no. Drill Lurker, not really. Um. Electro Bolt 2, Chain Lightning, Firebomb. No, I don't really use these very much. I only use them that I used I used a little bit in this water, and then I only use it to melt ice anyway. I'll get a plasmid slot just to put that in. And uh gene tonic slot. Let's see, drill power boost hound. Deadly machines do more damage. Yeah, that that actually now that I think about it, will be useful. Scrounger? No. Maybe. Firestorm, freezing drill, hand handyman, repair and name friendly bots and turrets by interacting with them. Yeah. Repair bot, I guess that's useful. Thrifty hacker. Uh, health in Eve. No, that's no like like the restore health in Eve thing was pretty good in the first game because hacking was a lot easier. But now that I have the the fountain of youth, it's not really important at all to have that because I, I can easily get health back just standing in a bit of water. So let's get Thrifty Hacker and I uh, will save the rest for something else. Now can I? I can repair. Look, look at this. Interesting. Okay. Now she's got a girl's name, Emmy. That's funny. I used to have a guy's name before. Don't know what that's about. Um, okay, that's all awesome. Now let's see if we can find a Houdini splicer. I hope they haven't disappeared. I'm hoping they're still around. Although, the splicer seems to be mostly hanging around the exit not back here, so maybe I should just keep walking forward. Yeah, so there's nothing... There's no one back here. Maybe I should check if I need to buy anything as well while I'm here. And different shops sometimes sell different things, so I need to check all the shops. Well, not all of them, but check different ones when I can. Yeah, see, I can buy some of this stuff. That's good. 
Oh, that's right, we need to do a little tour as well. I said I would do that, wouldn't I? Go back to the train station and then walk in from the front door instead of, you know, what you usually do in the game. Coming in from the back door. Alright, so where is... Where are those... I hear a creaking of the... Splice it. <laughs> Put that down. Go, robot, go. Go, robot, go. Ah, I see. So the the robot is stronger now. Like, she... She died quickly. More quickly. Than the other splices have been doing. Hmm. I swear... There was a Houdini splicer around here that I haven't killed yet. Uh, can I summon another one? Ah, oh, there he is. So now I got two of them. Bacon sleep on his back. Go check him hard, and we'll need her milk for I'm trying my best. And the bots aren't even doing anything. Wow, he got messed up real quick. Now all I need is the natural camouflage and I'm fully equipped. I can you imagine me standing in water, invisible, with my robots. That would make me invincible. Not really, but it would help a lot, that's for sure. Let's see. Ammo, ammo. Where's a Houdini splicer when you need one? Not here, apparently. Maybe they're maybe they're gone. Maybe after I triggered the the dialogue near the train station, they've disappeared. That'd be a shame. I really wanna research them. Okay, well let's go back to the main entrance. And, uh, and then we'll walk in. We'll look at the map and then we'll walk in. And we'll see, we'll try to see if this place actually makes sense or not. You know, at least walking from, walking in from the front door. Because walking, walking in from the back door, it seemed a little bit confusing, like the spaces didn't really make too much sense. Are there splices in here? No. No. This place is over there. I swear I left the Houdini splicer, or I saw a Houdini splicer that I didn't kill. Why did that move? Oh, okay, it's trying to open. Because I'm walking past. So uh, Stanley's in there. Alright, so this is a train. If you imagine you were a person living in Rapture, you'd get off the train here. And you'd see that. It's not very pretty, is it? The train station looks a bit old and, and industrial and... Uh, Concrete, not the most appealing place, and a lot of like in you know, the metal gates and all that. By a nice park opening gala, what does that say? Line forty-seven south.